today's episode, we're going to be showing you how to convert an arcade cabinet to an LCD. This is, we're going to be showing it on this Ms. Pac-Man cabinet. However, this should work on most 80s arcade games. Now, I'm not actually going to be fully converting this one because the CRT actually works great on this. But I'm going to be showing you how to actually wire it up to run on a brand new LCD. First things first, you need one of these. A lot of manufacturers make them, but you need to get an actual arcade video board to VGA. They're sold under a lot of different names, but you need one that looks somewhat like this, not one that looks like this. This has its own use, but it is not for this. This will not work. Now, first things first, we need to convert this to something that can plug into this. This is actually pretty simple to decipher. Starting from the top here, we got red, green, blue, ground, and then we have our horizontal and vertical sinks here. I think I have my vertical and horizontal sinks backwards, but that doesn't actually matter because we're actually gonna be connecting them together. But I don't wanna cut my wiring harness. If you're converting your cabinet, you probably can just cut your wiring harness, but I don't want to do that. So what I'm gonna actually do is use the connector off of this card so I can not have to mess with my wiring harness at all. Now this board also requires five volts, which on most cabinets isn't really an issue because most cabinets, well, I don't think either of the ones I just showed you, but most cabinets, quote unquote, use a JAMA switching power supply that you can easily grab your five volts off of. Unfortunately, Miss Pac-Man doesn't, Centipede doesn't, and neither does Space Invaders. They all use a custom board, which both of these use external power supplies, so they're not too big of a deal. You can probably grab your five volts off them. I'm not 100% sure about Centipede. Adult, you should be able to. But Miss Pac-Man generates the power on the board, and you don't really want to grab the power from there because this board draws like two amps, and drawing that from the board could drop that voltage down enough to cause issues with the board. So just install a cheap switching power supply. They're literally 20 bucks. Also, I should mention, if you're messing with your cabinet, you're probably messing with a CRT. Be careful. CRTs have thousands of volts, over 20,000 volts in these CRTs. Don't mess with them if you don't know what you're doing. They can seriously injure, if not kill you. Okay, so I've temporarily just removed this connector from this board, so I can just use this connector for wiring this. And by temporarily, I mean probably permanent, because I don't know when I'll ever need that board again. So let's just wire this thing up. Now let's wire it up. And to do that, we're going to be using this here. But you may notice this is only five wires. Miss Pac-Man, the video output has six. That's because this only has composite sync, while the Miss Pac-Man outputs both vertical and horizontal sync. But for that, we can actually just connect our horizontal and vertical sinks together, and it should work. We might end up with a rolling effect, but if we do, then we just add a 1K resistor in here. But let's figure out if we need to do that later. First, let's wire it up. Okay, as you can see, we got our RGB right here, our ground, and over here we have our sinks tied together. Let's see if this works. If it doesn't, we'll add our 1K resistor, but it might. Who knows? Let's find out. Well, I kind of screwed up. The connector was supposed to be going the opposite direction, but it doesn't matter. They, it, it plugged in. It should work. Let's find out. And let's turn everything on. And as you can see, we now have our Pac-Man displaying on this LCD. Unfortunately though, it's not centered at all. So let's add that resistor and see if that fixes it. Now you'd want to do this not sketchily, but let's plug it in and see if it works now. Well, it looks like the resistor made it so it's no longer jumping around, but it's still not centered. That's where this menu comes in. And after a bunch of messing around, I finally found the language setting and changed it to English from, well, Chinese. And now we can simply adjust this till we get the screen perfectly centered. I would really love it if it would go to the maze so I could figure out where the hell that is. That's looking about centered, but I really want to see the maze. Come on, give me the fucking maze. Come on, give me the maze, give me the maze, give me the maze. Okay, perfect. And it looks like we're pretty good. Perfect. That's awesome. That's what we want. Now, some cabinets have vertical sync, some have horizontal sync, some have both, like Miss Pac-Man. Some have negative horizontal sync, some have positive, some have negative vertical sync, all sorts of different fucking syncs. So you're gonna have to do some research on your specific cabinet on how to wire its video source, but for the most part, they're pretty similar to what I did here for Miss Pac-Man. This does have this other connector here that you can connect. It has some other sorts of syncs, but for simplicity, I just went with this one here because I didn't want to deal with all the extra syncs because I knew it would work just like this. Perfect. That is awesome, actually. I mean, no, not really. The CRT looks so much better. Actually, I might as well give you a comparison. Here is, well, it on a flat screen. As you can see, it's kind of meh. Actually, the camera makes it look way better than it actually is. But... That's it on an LCD. Now let's see it on a CRT. And here it is with a CRT. Just look at that beautiful glow. That is awesome. You really just can't recreate that on a flat screen very well. That's awesome looking. I much prefer it on a CRT, and this isn't even a great example of a CRT. It's somewhat messed up there in the corners, but again, it just looks better than a flat screen. But I understand sometimes these CRTs are not repairable, so sometimes, unfortunately, you do have to replace with a flat screen. But, Always try and repair your CRTs 
And if you don't even want to do that, at least try and give it away to somebody that actually will try and repair it.